today i will be talking about two concepts one is the essential drug list the second thing is about the p drug list or p drugs in general now into essential drug list let's start with example there some things in life which are a must without which life cannot run smoothly for example food uh, to eat water to drink uh, clothes to wear and last would be shelter or home without a home oh my god it's already raining and i'm without a shelter come on come on i'm getting wet please please direct a see to it i need to shoot this video today okay thank god the rain has stopped so that's what happens if you don't have a home or a shelter it's a protection okay so without which life cannot run so these are these are some must things in your life but on the other hand i always dream of owning a very big house like this but unfortunately it's just a dream maybe in the years to come i might buy a property like this but definitely not now but life is still running smoothly for me so these are some these are some things which are good to have good to have. so there's always a difference between what you must have and what is something that is good to have now you extrapolate this example to essential drug list the some drugs which are must essential for the opds clinics or the hospitals to run smoothly in any part of this world without these drugs the hospitals uh, clinics won't run so i take it as example of a drug like paracetamol a simple drug like paracetamol tablet paracetamol which is a anti pyretic tablet or tablets which bring down fever now it's required that you the you know this tablet is made available at all healthcare delivery points in any part of this globe without paracetamol the clinics the hospitals the opds will not run because if a doctor is seeing around 40 patients a day plus minus whatever it might be at least 10 will be coming to him for fever causes varied but he needs to give some tablets to the patients to bring down the fever to give them some symptomatic relief so without a tablet like paracetamol being made available the clinics and opds will not run so this is a essential drug a must drug in any essential drug list now if i need to select a essential drug list a uh, uh, drug name i need to have a drug which is studied all over so its efficacy data how effective the drug is is known and is seen that it's highly effective for treatment of a specific symptom or a disease the second thing is it should have a good safety profile the drug should be safe to use it should not have some very big uh, problems serious problems of adverse drug reactions or side effects okay. and the third thing is it should be comparatively cheap i cannot have a drug which is of high value in a essential drug list because this are drugs which are essential okay this is not something which uh, the patients might require it rarely they will require it on a daily basis so i need to have these drugs been made available at cheap rate now this concept of uh, uh, essential drug list was uh, first uh, developed by who around 3 to 4 decades back and over a period of time what has happened is that countries have adopted this essential drug list according to their needs according to their needs some diseases are commonly seen in some part of the world as against those diseases may not be uh, of same prevalence in some other parts of the world so depending upon the disease demography the essential drug list changes from country to country this list gets uh, updated daily by i am mean, uh, not daily uh, gets updated over a period of time by the ministries of each country and this list is made available at all healthcare delivery points as a doctor 
or as a healthcare professional, let it be a nurse or a pharmacist, you will often find this drug list available at uh, the clinics and hospitals where you will be practicing. You need to make sure that these drugs are available in stock at uh, whatever clinics and hospitals you will be practicing as a healthcare professional because these are the must drugs. So you need to be uh, aware of these things. Usually what you find is, you know, these drugs, uh, you have so many combinations, you know, drug combinations nowadays, you have uh, two antibiotics uh, combined together, so many other things, you know, uh, which are combined to make the drugs more user friendly. But what you find is, uh, usually in the essential drug list, you have single molecules, okay? it's not like, you know, two drugs, fixed dose combinations, usually, uh, it's not that they are not seen. Uh, but what has happened is medicine is uh, ever-changing science. It's, it's, it's something which is not static in nature. So uh, it has progressed uh, for the last 40 decades from where it was. And what you nowadays get is an essential core drug list. But in addition to that, you also have a complementary drug list in some countries. You know, some countries have a complementary list. Now these are the drugs which uh, are in addition to the essential drug list. These are basically new drugs uh, which are comparatively found to be effective and are safe uh, and are now widely used also. So you will find this uh, you know, kind of fixed dose combinations, some newer drugs into this complementary drug list which is published in, uh, in addition to the essential drug list. Uh, now you need to look at these essential drug list uh, whenever you need to study pharmacology. Uh, you need not remember uh, the names of all the drugs uh, which are there, but uh, it, it's a good practice to just, uh, just keep an eye on the updates of essential drug list uh, uh, in your lifetime because that's of importance. Now that was about, uh, in general, about essential drug list and where it came from and examples of essential drug list. Now let's go to the next part of the story that is speed drugs. Uh, P, P, capital P, uh, P for parrot, P drugs, okay. So what do you mean by P drugs? P is something which is personal, something which you own of yourself, P drug list. Uh, now as a doctor you might, uh, you know, as a healthcare professional, you might see around, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50 patients a day. Uh, and you will be practicing in a particular part of the world uh, at one point, uh, at a given uh, place. So what happens is that there is a kind of a, a stereotypic uh, uh, patients that you will see in your clinics because some diseases are, you know, uh, endemic to some parts of the world and you often find cases of this disease coming to your side. And at all points, it is not uh, feasible for you to remember all the drugs in pharmacology and just uh, remember from all these drugs what you need to give to the patient and so on. So, P drug list is something which you need to develop over a period of time of drugs that you will be using often in your clinical practice. So, out of the thousands of drugs which are available nowadays, you might be just using 100 drugs on a daily basis for your patients depending upon the disease factors, the diseases, uh, the illnesses, infectious, non-communicable, whatever it might be. So you'll be just concentrating yourself on those 100 drugs. Now the P drug list is, is the list of these 100 drugs which you are familiar with. So it's your personal choice. Of drugs because you are using it you have decided and you have seen that these drugs are highly effective in a particular case for your patients so it's your thing your drugs from the list of the big things you have now narrowed down to a very small spectrum of drugs and that's your P drug list now P drug list just are not names these are not just the names you know it's not like remembering ciprofloxacin no you need to know ciprofloxacin as an antibiotic, that's fine for certain diseases, right? It's your P drug, your personal choice drug, or a particular disease, right? But you need to know something more about this. You need to know the dosage formulations, 
whether you are familiar with the injections of ciprofloxacin or in, uh, familiar with tablets of ciprofloxacin at the same time you should also be aware of the dose of the drug you need to be aware about the efficacy profile the safety profile of this drug so you are basically knowing everything about this drug so those 100 drugs which we thought of you need to know everything about those drugs because you are using it on a daily basis you need to update your p drug list over a period of time because what was uh, found to be effective in 1980s uh, it has changed now you are in the 21st century so things have changed so you need to keep on updating your knowledge of p drug list keep on adding drugs to the list keep on deleting drugs from your list things which are of no use today or your better available drugs add to your p drug list and those which are you know just just not effective just get them out from your p drug list p drug list is something as a healthcare professional you need to maintain it's your personal choice for your patients and it's uh, makes your life much easier so that was my short analysis enjoyed my session uh, do keep uh, watching do subscribe thank you